ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Roll the Level Wednesday night chill stream. My name is Matt, part of the Roll the Level team, and I'm so excited that you've chosen to join us tonight. Tonight we're going to be diving into a little bit more of Victor Fran. Um, lots happened in the last couple weeks, so I'm going to attempt to summarize that here in just a minute. But before we get there, I just want to remind you why we do this thing. We are a group of gamers who uh, just love to talk about life, God, and video games in no particular order. And uh, each of us take a night and stream out of the week. So Dame is on uh, Monday nights and he is uh, currently going through Chrono Trigger. Uh, Sarah takes uh, Tuesday nights and uh, actually just finished Donkey Kong Country. So, or Donkey, yeah, Donkey Kong Country. And uh, so she is going to be figuring out what she's going to do next week. And then Wednesday nights, usually my chill late night stream. Um, it's the middle of the week. Everybody's a little bit tired. And, and uh, I thought this would be a good time just to take a deep breath, kick back. So I'm so, 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 so hoping you can do that tonight with us. Um, yeah, we I definitely have had a busy week and definitely need to uh, chill. So grab your favorite beverage. Mine just happens to be coffee. Um, and uh, kick back and enjoy the stream this evening. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to give you a summary of where we've gone with Victor Brand so far. Uh, so I thought the best way to do that was to try to actually integrate some of the cutscenes that we've experienced so far. So I'm going to try this. Could go royally wrong. Um, but that's what these tests are for. So just hang in there with me as we get this figured out. We'll switch over to this. I'm just gonna pull the music down here a bit. And we're gonna give her a swing and see what happens. Zagaravia, the fallen city, the land of no return, where darkness won and we demon hunters lost. One year ago, a plea for help summoned hunters to Zagaravia. Many answered the call. No one returned. I thought Adrian dead until a raven delivered his message. He too summoned me to Zagaravia. He saw what I seek. Adrian is a friend. One of the precious few I have. And the only man who knows of my past. Of the pact I made. And the demon powers I wield. this cursed city I will face to find my friend all right and so we enter into Zacharavia uh, we discover that everything is gone crazy there's demons everywhere monsters everywhere and uh, we essentially set out to find Adrian along the way we meet the Queen uh, we meet another uh, hunter Irene uh, who's out and about trying to figure out what's going on here um, and then we actually journey into parts of this massive city, and eventually we find uh, Adrian, who unfortunately has been turned into a vampire. We have to battle that, so we did that battle a couple weeks ago. Um, and then right after that, we have this next cutscene that rolls in. The survivors are gathered around the war table. There's tension in the air. There's also fear. There are not enough guards to hold the castle. Irene has been missing for a while now, and they think that I've left them for good. The Queen still insists on continuing the fight. She asks them to do the impossible. What they need now is a sliver of hope. I've changed my mind. I'll stay. At last, you see. We will overcome the invasion. This is not an invasion. I now know what is happening here. The city is a trap. A trap for hunters. And what would you do? Spring the trap. And so, 
After that, we head back into the city and begin to look for Irene, who has been missing for some time, only to discover that she's actually been tracking down a ghost who um, doesn't seem to be a malevolent, malevolent spirit, but rather a benevolent spirit, or at least not actively trying to kill us. Um, and so with that, we meet uh, Zara Boromir, who we come to find out is actually um, this uh, the, the first hunter. Uh, and his bloodline is actually the, you know, tracks down to the queen. And we discover that he, he's gone a little crazy, obviously. And, um, you know, he's been trying to communicate to us, but it's all been in riddles. And as we get closer to the truth, his head becomes more and more clear. And he basically points all of all the stuff that's going on. Uh, he points back to and blames the queen for. And that's when we see this next scene. The Well of Worlds is my blessing and my curse, Hunter. It is a source of power hidden in our lands. A doorway to countless worlds beyond our own. I unsealed it many years ago to save myself from a mortal sickness. The Red Plague doesn't care if you are a peasant girl or a princess. I became sick on my 18th birthday. My skin withered. My hair started to fall out. Vile red pustules covered my entire body. The healer said that I would never live to see the spring. All except one, Gabriel. He didn't have the power to heal me, but he knew of eldritch forces that could. He offered me salvation, a dark pact with the forces beyond the Well of Worlds. I would have 13 years of health before they came to claim me. My signature in blood was on the pact. For everyone, my complete and swift recovery was a miracle. Yet I knew it was anything but. Gabriel was made Lord of Zagoravia. Before he disappeared, he left a parting gift. A spell that would deceive the demons. I thought I was safe, and many blissful years passed. On the reckoning night, the demons swarmed to claim me, but they could not see nor recognize me. And all of Zagoravia paid the price that was mine to pay. You know the rest of the story yourself. All right, so after we discover this uh, about the princess, that, you know, she's the one that unleashed this terrible evil on the city. Uh, we actually go back to find Zar. So we combat our way through, we battle our way to Zar, and uh, we actually confront a bunch of demons um, and take care of those. And then he actually challenges us and says that there's more to us than meets the eye. And then, then we finally get to hear Vicar's story. And uh, here it is. Once upon a time, there was a prosperous kingdom. Its citizens enjoyed a life of wealth, luxury, and knowledge. Until its greedy neighbors joined forces in a vile plot. Three armies surrounded the city and its fall was inevitable. The young prince, heir to the throne, was willing to do anything and everything to save the kingdom. In this most desperate hour, an old man whispered to him, Open yourself to powers beyond this world, for this world has forsaken you. Seal your fate, my prince. Those words burned the mind of the prince as fire. He took the power he was offered and fought like a demon, summoning lightning and fire from the sky. He turned the tide, and the invaders fled in fear. But great power always comes at a great price. The children starved, for the crops would not grow. His father died of an illness unseen. For the price of his power was the death and decay of everything around him. Even though he was the last of his bloodline, the prince left his kingdom. For if he stayed, his people would suffer and perish. Now he wanders the world alone never staying in one place for long, lest his curse catches up with him. All right, and 
that brings us up to date. So after we discover, uh, you know, Victor's kind of quest, uh, it leads us to Zar giving us uh, a bunch of things we need to take care of and do. And that's where we're at right now. We have to prove ourselves to Zar. So we have to go hunt some demons, take care of business, and then roll into it. And so that is what we are working on right now. So we need to find and slay Vale the Immortal. And that's where we are. Welcome to the stream for those just joining us now. My name is Matt, part of the Roll the Level team. And I am so excited that you've chosen to uh, join us this evening. Tonight is about kicking back, relaxing, and enjoying some, uh, some chill time. So take a deep breath, uh, and I hope you enjoy this stream with me. So I am a big fan of ARPGs. Uh, I've been playing them for just about as long as I can remember. Some of the first ones that I played back in the day, uh, Diablos, some of the original Diablos. Got into Fate for a while, played a lot of Titan Quest. Um, you know, Sacred was another big game that I played a lot of. Um, stuff like that and yeah just absolutely love the genre a lot of great things about it um, it's one of those types of games where you can get invested in the deep story but also if you just feel like you can get back and relax and so uh, that's, that's definitely where we're at tonight so I'm playing uh, I'm playing this kind of interesting mortar hammer build um, I'm not sure if I like it yet because then you get stuck with stuff like this where you just can't reach the things around you so actually switch over um, one of the great things about this game is the ability to dual wield weapons you can swap back and forth on different things and, and uh, try things out so I've been testing that mortar build not a fan I'm gonna switch back over to the old uh, Uh, Victor Vran came out in 2015. Uh, it was one of those like unsung gems. It's actually a really fun game. Um, you know, mixed reviews to be honest when it came out. Uh, a lot of people found the story kind of generic and things like that. Praised it for things like, you know, the ability to jump, which hadn't really been seen a whole lot up to that point, uh, and also the dodge roll mechanic, which I still think works better than the one in Diablo 3. Uh, don't add me on that though. Uh, so it's a it's a great game. Some of the uh, leveling mechanics and stuff are really neat. Um, should go up here. Should kill this guy. Here. I get a clean shot on him. Beauty. Okay. So yeah, the level mechanics are really neat. There's a bunch of different uh, you know abilities you can get. Abilities are unlocked based on the weapon you currently have. So in my case, where I'm using the hammer and the gun. Um, this really cool leap ability with hammer that charge up that you saw uh, as well as just a just a standard swing which uh, you know looks pretty good I'm a fan big fan of it actually so it's uh, great to have you guys here with us tonight um, we're going to keep going as we try to prove to Tsar that we are worthy of the, the title of Demon Hunter one of the other abilities that you get in this game are uh, is this thing called the Demon Power which allows you to well, in this case, I'm actually turning into this poisonous cloud of death, which works fairly well. Um, it's part of Victor's Curse. If you were here from the very beginning, we kind of quickly went through what we've covered so far in the game. One of the things we learned is that Victor uh, actually uh, traded, um, you know, traded uh, his, not I mean his soul, but he basically gave up a part of himself to gain power to try to defend his people. But it was actually a curse, and now, you know, Having the ability to kill demons means that wherever he goes, he essentially plants demons. Um, and so yeah, so you get these demon abilities. You charge them up with the yellow bar on the right hand side of the of the HUD there, and you can unleash those. Now I am using a build where I don't charge up this power of time. It only charges on crit, but on crit it charges really fast. Um, there's another cool element of this game is all of the outfits that you can actually use. I'll show you real quick. So if you can open your inventory, go over here. So I actually just unlocked a new outfit. It's the uh, the Cavaliers outfit. Uh, you gain 80 overdrive every second, but attacks no longer grant overdrive. Uh, whereas critical hits grant 150% more overdrive. Normal attacks no longer grant overdrive. So you kind of have to you kind of have to work to, to figure out what kind of a spec and build you want to go with uh, in this game. I, I've been trying a crit build which has been interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm happy with it yet, um, but I mean, 
That's not terrible, so that's You seem good. fascinated by the macabre, Victor. It disturbs me to watch you like that, always so enthusiastic to enter a new cemetery or crypto. You'll get there, Victor. You'll so get there. We also have this, you know, voice in our head. That's kind of cool. Uh, which at this point hasn't been explained to us why we hear this voice, but, uh, but you know, good times anyway. I do like the hammer. I, I am typically not a like two-handed weapon guy, but I've in the last year or so, I really, most games, I really started to appreciate two-handed builds. And so, yeah, it's been kind of fun learning how to do and play this style of style of gameplay, which I'm not typically, again, not my typical idea. So I also have a boomerang toss that I use, um, which works really well. This poison cloud thing is amazing because it allows me to pass through things. So if I get kind of cornered like that, I can just pop that uh, demon power and we're, we're good to go. So it's all right. Uh, so yeah, great game. If you uh, never get an opportunity to try it, I highly recommend it. It does go on sale on Steam quite frequently. Um, and personally, I think it's well worth it if you're an ARPG fan. Pop one of those. Pop Empire Blood. There we go. I believe the Empire Blood is like a leech or a, a heal on hit or something. I can't remember off the top of my head. I just know it heals me when I do stuff. Oh, we need to get away from that mess, though. Like I say, the dodge mechanic in this game is so great, and they've really worked it into the gameplay. Like, uh, D3 on consoles is a great game, but I feel like the dodge mechanic was really just an afterthought. Whereas in Victor Vran, it very much feels like an intentional part of the combat mechanics. Like when you get those AoEs that drop there, dodging through that reduces damage. Double damage this year. Okay, let's do this. Charge it up. Um, I don't feel like with this build, we are gaining a lot of range or whatever it is. Which is a little disheartening. Desperately like that. There we go. I wonder if going Cavalier would actually be a better system because it'd be a little more reliable. Because when you get those overkill crits, like it definitely helps. Circle up on here. Whew, that was a lot. Oh hey, look, we leveled up. That's super fun. Let's check that out. Alright, so level 17 plus one destiny points. You can now equip more powerful Destiny cards. Destiny points cost all of your equipped cards. Uh, of all your equipped cards, cannot exceed your total DP. So I'll show you what that is in just a second here. And you always get to choose a reward too, which is kind of fun. So in this case, we have the Rassler's Hammer of the Vulture. Uh, plus 25% damage against Wraiths. Gain to 25 health on Overkill. That's actually pretty decent. What's this? This is the Wraith Slayer's Hand Mortar of Mauling. Plus 35% against race, not bad. Yeah, let's just, you know, let's risk it for the biscuit, some random loot, see what we get. Let's take a peek at that. All right, how's our audio doing there? Are we doing okay? Okay, so we have a couple things. Is this any better than what we're currently using? Executioner is gonna be, it's a shotgun I'm all in. This is a shotgun with bear. What's this do? Damage increased by 17% when health is above 90, crit hits, knock enemies back. Kind of like that. Let's go secondary on that guy. Um, let's take a peek here. So we have these things called destiny cards. Um, essentially they're just like passive stat bonuses. Um, or not, I guess, yeah, I guess, well, it's a mix, but anyway. Uh, so in this case, the vampire, which I already have one equipped, 7% life steal with weapon attacks. Uh, I've got the strength one, 8% to crit chance. So I, I had been hitting pretty hard on the crit, and I don't know if I want to keep doing that or not, but, um, a lot of different ones here to work with. Let's see what we got in here. I got the slayer, gain 6% of maximum health on kill have enjoyed that 15 second cooldown isn't amazing though hmm <laughs> i got that seven percent steel secret crit damage let's swap out the slayer i just gotta remember how to get rid of it excellent equip okay and then let's jump over one of these what was it the strength one that gave us the extra crit yeah eight percent so let's equip that all right so we're only at nine at eleven but uh right now we don't need more slots to work with so we're gonna kind of keep her there and we need to open our gift box. See what we got. All right. Booty. 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 What do we get? Anything cool? What's this do? Damage Tome of Mauling. Attack speed is increased by 13% knockbacks. Well, let's see what that's all about. 
Uh, let's secondary equip it. Oh, so that's just a passive beauty. Oh, no, it's actually a <gasps> cool. I became a magic user. Shoots super fast, anyway. Oh, we got some extra spell power with it. What? All right. That's pretty handy. I could get behind that. It's like, I think that like drops a whole fire thing or whatever. Shoot. There we go. Oh, 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 overshot the wrong way. That's awkward. Let's roll over here and get my charge up. Heal. Go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, okay. It sends out like this cool little. Oh, so the wall of fire is there. I see. Beauty. I see, I see. I've never used this weapon, so I've played this game a few times and I've looked through, but I've never actually used that. Well, that's interesting. So that ability to like kind of flex is it's pretty handy actually. Alright, here we go. Working our way to the We'll try the book out a little longer, I think. That's that's kinda unique. I like that. Get the coffee up a little. An ancient one. being roams the corridor. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing all right this evening? Hopefully you're able to kick back and relax a little bit. Well, that was fun. Well. The ancient corruption walks once again. I'm just slicing and dicing. So it looks like a, it's like more of a chain attack. So that's kind of cool. Nice. Oh, I've nice. always wanted to meet Vale. His work is quite inspiring. I must follow his soul to find the phylactery. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna chase this guy down. I like it. Probably gonna summon everything in their dog in the process. Oh man, this is not not gonna end well for me at all. What happens? Yeah, let's just do this. Where this demon power thing is amazing. Oh, we got Vale back. Here. Hammer. Oh, this here. oh, yeah, you can kind of do that Spider Man thing right off the side there, too, which is pretty handy. Vale, take off again. I say that dodge kill is pretty sweet. Or dodge kill, dodge roll is pretty sweet. Comes in handy. Oh, yeah, follow the lead soul. Here we go again. Round of three. Oh, got hit with the slow. That's no good. Each one of these maps, too, has uh, challenges you have to do. For this play, to destroy this phylactery. We're just going to focus on. Uh, Shielded. Yeah, okay, okay. Ow, 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 holy lightning back. Well, uh, one time you should have cleared the room before you started a fight. Okay, let's, let's focus on taking these guys.
sure showed you guys a scythe. Scythe is actually my favorite weapon in this game. Uh, I have intentionally not been using it a lot just to force myself to use other weapons, so, you know, there's that. Let's, uh, let's do this. Just kind of clear some of this. Heal up. Uh, oh, hey, this is Again, I don't take any... Oh, no, I never mind. I lied. I do take damage. I didn't think I did, but apparently I was wrong. Ouch. Potion in my secondary, that's not good. What's this? What do we got? Potion. Liquid and madness gives me uh, damage increased. That's equipping secondary, I think it is. Did I do that properly? Beauty. And then we've got a new scythe. Let's check that bad boy out. Alright, so that is the guild gilded, gilded. There we go. Hey, little sleepy. Absolutely welcome to the stream, buddy. So glad you're here tonight. It's good to have you. Trying to stay alive, and I'm not doing an amazing job at it. Um, let's do executioner shotgun there. I don't really want to give up my hammer. I feel like um, the hammer is actually the better weapon here. It's the better choice. Okay, beauty, pop this back. Let's do this. We gotta kill this stupid black three. Before. There we go. Oh shoot! I thought I charged that already. Let's um, try to dodge some of this. Good shot. Everything else in the room. Why is that beam of death still following me? There we go. Those are two pieces of gold there for you. Beauty. Find and slay Rashnos the host. I don't know where he is. I've got no markers either. All right, let's see. We picked up. Uh, let's see. We picked up another thing there. Right? Yeah. Man, I am 100% agree. Anything cool here? What do we get? Uh, Zealous Tome of the Assassin. You know, the Tome was not overly amazing. I guess if you're a caster typey, I'm not really a caster typey, so I'm going to say, uh, how about the new Scott? Uh, I am going to show you guys this real quick. The Scythe is kind of a fun weapon. Um, as it's like really quick, it's very opposite the hammer. This is definitely more my play style. Uh, like say I've been intentionally trying to swap it out. Blinded. Welcome. So glad you dropped by, man. It's good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by, Kevin Beard. Appreciate it a lot. Oops, I'm gonna glad this guys. Nice odd. Yeah, you talked about that last time. That's good. Uh, how f are you much further along in the game? Or are you still kind of uh, working your way through it? Where are you at with it? I don't even know if I actually still need to do it. Really nice. Oh, yeah, that's say I'm really enjoying I'm in the process of reviewing a, uh, a controller which is what I'm actually playing on right now I'm definitely definitely liking the controller for this game historically I always have it's a it's a great especially with the jump and stuff I find the controllers awesome but uh, talking about controllers I actually just picked up for my Nintendo Switch two SNES SNES controllers uh, Nintendo had a thing on where if you had like a if you had like the online thing uh, with them, they offered you like a discount of price on them, and so I may have just mentioned two of them, uh, and they're pretty sweet too. Oh man, you and me both. Uh, it's funny. I also have two kids and definitely in remodel in the home right now. Uh, home in a backyard, and it's just been chaos. So I, I, I feel that this is actually one of the only nights I really sit down and play. So um, yeah, wow, good on you. Sticking it out. It's a lot, but uh, it's good. You'll you'll appreciate the house once it's all done for sure. Yeah. 
I wish I could say we were almost done remodeling. Uh, we're actually in the, like waiting on two very specific things before we go any further with any of the remodels. So it's been an adventure waiting for that. And we're kind of okay. We gotta figure out where we're going here. We gotta figure out where this dude is. I'm just gonna mess around with him. Let's uh, figure it out. I do love that you can just jump over things. Yeah, I think this is the entrance here. An ancient being roams the corridors of the mausoleum. He is knowledgeable and powerful, but I'm afraid he dislikes guests. Come on, Victor. I dare you. Enter. You're not afraid, are you? I love this guy just goes just the whole time. So. That's awesome. Man, I can't wait to be at this stage. We're currently waiting for someone to come in and measure cabinets for us for our kitchen, so it's everything's kind of at a standstill. We knocked out a bunch of walls and opened everything up and <clears throat> got it ready, but I have to wait for that. It's, it's one of those things that I just don't want to do myself, so it's good to bring in someone who actually knows what they're doing. All right. What are, I, I don't know where I'm going or what I need to do. I think now let's see what we got. on you for being almost done. That's great. <clears throat> I gotta check. I feel like the scythe has better crit on it. Although I did just crit or add another thing to it. Another card that increases that stuff. Oh, is it a, is it a chest? Is that what we're going for? I mean, of course it's a trap. All those guys about to try to kill me. Guys all over the place. Victor, I want you to meet the broker. He has some steaming hot promotions for you. Go ahead, talk to him. Let's, Let's make, make a deal. Let's make a deal. You spare me, and I will sell you some special goodies. An exceptional promotion just for you. All Look right. for me in other places, and I may offer you something else. Yeah. What's he got? Oh, what's that? Pumpkin hammer? <laughs> what's this say? All right, here we go. Damage increased by 47% when the overdrive meter is full. Attack cooldowns reduced two by 2%. Two or sorry, two seconds on overkill. Spawns exploding pumpkins on overkill. I mean, if we've got the cash. Do we have the cash? We have the cash. What do you guys think? Do we pick this thing up? I mean, I kind of want to just pick it up because it's a pumpkin hammer. So I'm, I'm going to say, okay, let's do it. All right, we are going to vendor while we're here, though, because that needs to happen. So we need to sell a bunch of stuff. Tesla guns, not a fan of those at all. Definitely need to replenish our stocks here. Okay. Uh, 
I'll see that I had 150% crit on it. That's I think why we're getting so many. All right, so what's the hit for 92 for 123? What's this hit for 120 to 160? Oh, see, that's not as good as what we had. We're gonna try it just for fun because it's a pumpkin. And you can't go wrong with pumpkin. We also got a level up increased health by 300. Congratulations, your health pool is increased, allowing you to do more damage. All right, we choose through some health potions, some leech bombs, or some random gifts. And with other gift boxes and transmutation to get better items. Oh, helps when you read tooltips. All right, we're gonna we're gonna skip that. All right, let's see where the heck we're supposed to go here, because I still don't know. But I have a pumpkin hammer, so I mean, looks good. I want to see exploding pumpkins. I want to see exploding pumpkins. <laughs> oh, there it is. Beauty. There it goes. There it goes. Yes. I like it. So many exploding pumpkins. As long as I don't take damage. You know what? I think we can actually proc that explosion before the timer runs out. If we uh, just hit it, hit the pumpkin again. So that's all right. All right. Here we go. Uh, oh shoot, I should have held that longer. This may have been a huge waste of money, but I appreciate the exploding pumpkins. And I love that when it hits the ground, you get the little pumpkin icon. How awesome is that? That's great. Love it. I'm glad I'm finally out of this gloomy place. Nonsense, Victor. Zagoravia is so beautiful at this time of the year. And our tour has just begun. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I should look at the journal. Let's, um, let's, yeah, let's go to the Onion Quarter. Sure. I don't know why, but we're going to go there. So the Onion Quarter in this game is actually kind of considered the, the poor the poor part of town. We're actually going to go back to the, to the hub because I need to look at the map. And I don't know if you can look at the full map unless you're in the hub. Where does it want us to go? Oh, our quest is at the Honey Grove. Isn't that where we just were? Did we, we, did we have to go back to the hunting grounds and then navigate it? Oh, yep. So I think I had to go back one more. Oh, who's this guy? I can't handle the pumpkin hammer. That's all I'm saying. Pumpkin hammer for the win. Oh, yeah, so you can make it explode sooner. Beauty. All right, let's sneak over to dodge roll and attack. Love you can make the hand or the pumpkin explode sooner. That's just great. It's just, <laughs> it's so true. You're right. It is the small things. You gotta you gotta appreciate the little things. Sometimes that's what gets you through the big things. Honestly, uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. Um, all right, here we go. Chot chot. Flammo. Let's do that. So that's a great like method if you need to like take a drink of coffee. You just pop that ability. Shot. Ah, that's why I like the hammer so well. It just does the job. No questions asked. If you need things smashed, I got you. Alright, cool. Let's work our way towards the actual mission. Alright, here we go. So how's everybody doing this evening anyway? What are you guys playing? Are you guys playing anything? I know I don't uh, have as much time to play as I would like. Yeah, you can interrupt actually with that, with that thrashing jump thing. Not not at, like big guys, but the little guys when they line up like that. If you do like a jump and a crash, it'll actually disrupt for half a second. 
That's a graven way to That's handy. Um, so I just discovered that with that pumpkin hammer, I don't need to be using it. I just have to have it on me. So like even with my my gun here, if I overkill, it uh, it basically still pops the the pumpkin rock. We're gonna call it the pumpkin rock because I like that. Although it's a little hard to say. That's interesting. And good game. Spiders. Here we go again. It's true. I do feel like we have to face spiders frequently. Jumping down. I shall see the host. Should we coffee up before we do this? I think we should coffee up. Marvelous. It's absolutely marvelous. I was not Exploded gas. We gotta be careful. Okay, one thing I need to do while I'm thinking of it is we need to equip some more potions. Um, all right, what do we got? My restore armor center first cools down all your demon powers. That's pretty slick. Gain 100 armor and immunity to days that erupt and push effects for 20 seconds. We got a flash bomb. We got a frost bomb, and we got a leech bomb. I think I think we're gonna equip the old leech bomb. I think that's gonna be handy as a second. Heal, but also when it does damage. What we're actually going to do is these guys explode. We should probably move out of the range of that. Oh, shoot. I thought he was. Okay, okay. I can't remember how we get this. Guy. Destroy the columns. Oh, that would make way more sense if I've been reading. Reading is great. Everybody should read. Diagnosis that we were hoping it wasn't going to happen and sending me away. Yeah, man, I, we absolutely be praying for that. Um, I'll uh, I'll let the rest of the team know if that's all right, and we will uh, yes. put that on our prayer yes, list. Sure. We usually on Fridays we all get together and do the podcast, so we can uh, start trashing we can be praying about that before we even jump on the recording. If that's all right with you, uh, not we won't pray live or anything, but we'll definitely be praying for him for sure. Uh, keep me posted on how that goes and how we can be praying specifically. Uh, we can uh, definitely do that for you. Oh gosh, I keep getting wrecked here. Okay, this is where that leech bomb thing comes in. Okay, we gotta take these guys. Yeah, man. When it comes to kids, any of those things are just, they, they hit double hard, I think. Um, you know, I, I encourage you right now to just, just surround yourself with, you know, with friends and community that are going to commit to praying and supporting you guys. Um, it's really important, you know, especially, especially if you have like a church that you're a part of that can come alongside you and support you guys. Uh, you know, lean into that right now. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. And like I say, lean, lean into your community. Um, you know, if you have a church community specifically, like, you go to them and say, hey, we need help. And give them specifics, like, what they should be praying for. If you guys, you know, if you've got, like, a doctor's appointments and, you know, just need help with meals or whatever it is, like, don't, don't hesitate to reach out to people that are close to you. Uh, a lot of times, the people on the other side of that that are your friends that, you know, hear those diagnoses, and they're like, oh crap, you know, the question they always ask is, what can we do? 
And so, you know, I'd encourage you like bypass the, the bypass the middleman. Just tell them how they can help you, um, how they can be praying for you, how they can walk with you in the midst of this. Um, Cause you know, the beauty is you don't have to do it by yourselves. There, there are people, you know, that, that can surround you and help you in this. So I encourage you to, to, to do that. But we can definitely pray as well, absolutely. And like I said, keep us posted. Let us know. Uh, we're on, you know, you, you know our schedule. It's on the on the Twitch stream. There. Um, so you can reach out to us anytime or leave us a message on YouTube or, you know, we're on the Facebook and the Twitter and all that stuff at Roller Level. So please definitely reach out. And thanks for sharing that. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah. It's always awesome when you can support other people. So we are, we are here for that. Oh, I missed the charge shot. All right. Let's try to kill this guy as quickly as we can here. trying to save that uh, B ability, that supercharged shot for when he drops. Ouch, that hurts. I was quick on the big draw to make sure you that doesn't help. Let's see if we can take, am I even hitting that post? I am, okay. Let's take out that post and I give him an option. Close to dead. How about you die? Valiant Hero has once again emerged victorious, slaying demonic spiders and defenseless stone columns alike, all in the name of better loot. I love that voice. Oh, awesome! Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, man, we're uh, we're always here, buddy. Honestly. All right, we want to teleport, or do we want to go back to the hub? I think hunting guns are the hub here, so. Oh gosh, so many spiders. I probably should have killed these before I went in there, but. Reach the heart of frost. Do you know what that means? Okay, let me look at a map. It's the next one. He's clearly not here. Let's go. So it wasn't here, so let's actually go back to the hub. See where we're going here. Actually, can we sell? She got anything cool? Oh, wow. Actually, she's some really nice weapons. Oh, I lied. They're not really nice at all. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's vendor some of this stuff. Oh, what did I do? Ah, no, go back. All right, let's sell that. So, all right, sometimes there's like this weird wacky thing with the controls in this game where it's like you accidentally select a weapon and then start moving it around inventory as opposed to just cycling through your inventory. It's a little awkward because I can never remember how to switch it back. All right, so pumpkin hammer's fun, but that cursed hammer gives us that crit engine. But see, mm, so this is a tough thing. So we get, hmm. Hmm. Granted, we could do double hammer, but I really like having the range, the extra range. Okay, we need to clear out some of this here while we're here. I'm trying to remember if you can, like, combine these to get a better version of them. I thought there's a transmute. I'm level 16, should be. Yeah, here we go. Transmogrification. All right, so let's let's just test this theory out. Let's just take boomerang here. Add items to transmute. Okay, uses, an or uses a base or uses an Let's go uses base. Oh, that's gonna transmute it. Okay, so let's 
uses an ingredient. Here we go. Let's use our more powerful one as a base. And see what happens. Oh, we can't transmute yet. No, let's just throw a couple more in there and see what happens. Oh, shoot. I see what I did wrong there. Oh, crap. I don't know where that went. There it is. Use that as your base. We'll throw that in there. No, I think it's going to be three of the same. All right, what else do we have that we can work with here? Do we have three of the same? Let's uh, return to our inventory. I'm trying to remember. It's been so long since I've done this, and you know, I'm super awesome at not reading tutorials, so I'm just trying to remember how to do this. Um, all right. Well, let's try with cards. Let's remove cards. Do we have enough cards to work with this? Oh, hey, look, transmutation allows you to create new items and improve your existing ones. To improve an item, put it in the top slot and combine it with up to three ingredients in the bottom slot. To create a new item, combine the ingredients, move the top empty, check your codex. Oh, so we can just, okay, okay, okay. So let's uh, use this ingredient, use this ingredient, use this ingredient. It's not what I need yet. So it must have to be the same, maybe. So do we have three of the same then is my question. What am I seeing here? I see two Slayer. Hmm. Huh. What do we got here? Let's go back through and see what we have. Well, actually, you know what? We got three of these, so let's use this ingredient. Ah, that'll let us do it. We've got not even the same item. I don't know how that happens. Right then. Each item, each type of item is different. Check the recipes. Is there a recipes log in here? Also, thank you for that. I don't see a recipes log anywhere. Or are we talking like jump on the actual interwebs and take a peek? I'm drinking both coffee and water. Okay, here we go. Um. at the bottom of the screen oh hey the big button that says recipes thank you sir appreciate it greatly all right demon cards nope okay improved base property so combine a demon power with three demon powers of the same type with the same or better rarity improved secondary property combine a demon heart with three demon powers of other types of the same or better rarity create a random demon okay so we just throw them in there I got you. Destiny cards. Okay, improve rarity. Three of the same rarity type. Higher rarity if it exists. If all cards are divine or wicked, the resentment card will also be divine or wicked. Thanks for this, by the way. Uh, make a card divide or wicked. Excuse me. Please. Okay. All right. Well, I started reading that, but I'm losing my focus, so we're going to jump out of that. We're just gonna mash some stuff together and see what we can do. Um, later though, cause I'm, I wanna go kill things. All right, where are we here? Beauty, all right, we have to go to the merchant quarter. We are going to the merchant quarters. Ah, perfect, we got an arrow. Oh my, vampires. Oh, don't I like vampires. If they don't sparkle, you should be safe. <laughs> the Twilight reference, that was beautiful. That makes me happy. Oh, something here we can do. Okay. Oh, I was really hoping I could actually jump there, but. We've got another vampire. Bye, vampire. When are vampires magic users? Is that a thing? Did I just miss the memo on that? Ow, 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 ow. That ice armor is terrible. Though. What's that? Frostfall, God will. Nope, so, nope. Okay, can't get this very much. Just do that. Ooh, double damage. Alright, boom. Ooh, level up too. That's tasty. I like that. 
Got it. On second thought, those vampires seem more formidable than the monsters we've faced before. Are you sure you're up to the challenge? We wouldn't want you to end up like your buddy Adrian. That's a good point. So for those just joining a little bit later in the stream, we actually initially came here to save Adrian, only to discover that he was actually a vampire. Which is a little awkward. What a time bubble. He's dead. All oh, right. Maybe going. Run around with trusty boomerang. I don't feel like that boomerang actually came back. Shoot, not what I meant to do. That's awkward. I meant to do that. There we go. And then I think we level up. Ooh, all right. Plus one destiny points. You can now equip more powerful destiny cards. Destiny points cost all of the equipped cards can exceed your total DP. Ooh, what are these? Power stones of damage. In addition to your new ability, you also gain an additional item on each level. Please select a reward. Be the power stone of damage and the power stone of accuracy. And then some random blocks. Uh, use the transmission to improve the damage of a weapon. Critical chance. Well, we're kind of doing this critical chance build, so. Can you smell it? Nope. Something stinks. Maybe the conspiracy that you think surrounds Zagorod. Oh, never mind. It's only the sewer shaft over there. All right, we need a different second there. I'm getting bored of it. Love the hammer. Quarter of the rifle. So, are any of you guys uh, MMO fans, out of curiosity? Uh, mm, oh God, I need a better ranged weapon. Okay. I need to get a ranged weapon. It's a trap. Everything is a trap. Not even a little. That's that's bad. Ooh, ouch. So I've been I've been watching um oh okay, two can play this cool game. Um I've been following a game called New World that I'm quite excited for that's a sandbox MMO, which is definitely not my typical MMO like my <laughs> my MO. <laughs> um Let's but I make a deal. This guy. You spare me. Look you for me, me. Other. Yeah, 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 yeah. You talk to me. What is this? Who is it? Um, the Chimera. Do I have enough? Please say I have enough. How much is this? Eighty-four thousand. Okay, what does it do? I don't even know what it does. It just looks cool, so I want it. Um, okay, damage increased by forty-seven percent when health is above ninety percent. Gain five percent max health on crit. Bouncy Betty fires three grenades, but fires less often. I mean, you can't not buy that, right? All right, let's uh, let's vendor some stuff while we're here. Anyway, I've been following this game called New World, and I'm quite excited to uh, 
for when it releases in August. Again, not usually a, um, oh, look at that thing, look at that. Yeah, Neverwinter was was interesting. Um, I mean, I've been a I've been a big WoW fan forever. I just nuked that guy. What is this? Oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a mortar. It's just it has some crazy ability. Um, yeah, Neverwinter was. I mean, it was it was heavily instanced, but um, I I kind of liked how the mechanics worked because of just the e the uniqueness of it. But um, oop. Uh, but World of Warcraft, oh my word, I have sunk part of my life into that game. Um, it was actually one of the games that Dame and I used to play, like, all of the time. Um, he, I wish, I wish he was on here now, because he could share how him and his wife, actually, they, they kind of, they kind of bonded through World of Warcraft. They didn't meet in World of Warcraft, actually, they met before she started playing, but um, she actually started playing as a way to connect. Clearly, he tells the story way better than I do. But um, anyway, she ended up playing so much that she got the achievement in WoW for the War Master. She was one of the first on her server to do it. Uh, she loves a good story. Um, and it was great because when we used to play, I, I'm not one for story. Like, the stories are fine, but I'm, I'm there for the game mechanics. And so when we used to play together, the three of us, she would spend the whole time essentially narrating in her own words the, the story beats for me so I knew what was going on. Going on. Now I rely on Dame, who's also a storyteller, so it works out well. For me, I mean, for them, it's, it's kind of sucky because they have to tell the whole story all the time. But it's good. Oh, shoot. Ah. Well, that was time. I've never seen it. Man, this slow is wrecking me. Anyway, New World, yeah, New World looks really interesting. I'm not, like I say, I'm not a sandbox guy. I'm definitely much more of a theme park MMO guy. I like kind of being pushed through the story and stuff. But I had done a review, oh man, probably half a year ago now, well maybe a little more, on a sandbox MMO. And so I ended up spending like three weeks in that game and really started to appreciate the sandbox stuff. I need to look at the map, I'm so lost, guys. Um, do we have to go all the way around or can I sneak up this way? I'm really hoping I can sneak this way and backtrack. Yeah, and so then when New World was announced, uh, they had an alpha test for it, which I jumped in on and did a write-up on. Which you can actually check over at MMORPG.com. It's a shameless plug. Um, but, uh, yeah, really, really liked the game. Uh, There's nothing the interesting wrong. in this direction. Turn back, and let's go and see the surface. Yes, I am totally in the wrong direction. Lost. So I ended up pre-ordering it. It's been bumped a couple times because Amazon as a game studio is having a rough go of it, trying to figure out some stuff. Oh shoot, I was really hoping I could Spider-Man this. Oh well. Uh, but finally, end of August, it's supposed to be out. I'm seeing actual like promotional trailers for it now, so it's a good sign. So if you haven't, you should go check that out because it looks like it's gonna be an interesting game. Oh hey, there's the circus. That's a pretty cool little scenery. I just wish I could figure out how to get to that one. We have to go this way and work our way around. Maybe. I don't really know. Oh, that box did not stand a chance. I crushed it. Okay. Should use my mortar cannon more often. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not, I've never really used a mortar cannon before. But it's kind of fun. I like that it shoots three. Oh my word, that's awesome. That spread fire is phenomenal. I'm just gonna hold down here, look around the place. There we go. So then I think Y is, yeah, you can actually like lob the shot further or whatever. I also appreciate that I don't get friendly fire on this thing. So I, I have not, I saw that it was out, um, but I haven't actually um, done much on it. I played, um, so cool story, I actually reviewed the first, the Millennium So first game and I did a review on it. And then I actually got to cover, crap, which one was it? One of the expansions, I actually went to San Francisco and met with Bethesda and um, 
Cinemax and got to cover um, the release of it, which was really neat. Um, and uh, yeah, had a lot of fun. Got to hang out with the devs for a couple days. That was really cool. But I have not, not had an opportunity to really look at uh, at Blackwood. But uh, I imagine like they're pretty. One of the things that I really appreciated about ESO was the ability to kind of just jump in and go. Like you didn't have to. Like and they even said this. Like when I had interviewed them back in the day, one of the things they said was they they were really working to design a game that was modular in nature so like you could pick up oh go the wrong way any of the story expansions and just start from there at level one if you wanted to or you could progress through it as a level whatever so i imagine black would have been pretty good and continue pushing the story um and again if you don't have any other expansions unless they've changed their you know their philosophy you should be able to just pick it up and go Which I always appreciate. Circus. I've always loved circus performances. In fact, Zagoravia is one big circus right now. All kinds of freaks and sights presented to the eager audience. In this case, me. What and your role is to play the clown, don't you think, Victor? Didn't get a stool to obsess on. Alright, we just picked up some shiny in here. Check that out. check in with some of my buddies. I think uh, I still have one buddy that plays ESO pretty consistently. I'll ask him about it. Um, next time I'm talking to him. I don't talk to him as much as I used to now just because we, we were different time zones. We rarely saw each other and then we would go to uh, two events. So, But I'll, I'll check in. if I Next time I see him, I'll talk to him. And by see him, I mean online. But Oh, shoot. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this allows me to lob. And it doesn't bounce either. That's interesting. So the as an MMO, MMO was really good. I I enjoyed the combat in it. I wish Skyrim actually had the combat of ESO, which I'm sure is not a popular opinion, but it's still my opinion. I yeah, I just I found it to be a really good system. One I could actually do. Okay, yeah, maybe. I heard an entity called Apocalypse resides in this cave. Nice. All right then. Let's go. Let's do it. Never have I set foot in a more unnatural place. I've grown used to rot and decay, but this? Ice and snow in this season? Love it. So this guy's gonna like, unthaw here. Holy Well, less than for ice and snow is a little fire, I guess. Damn, damn, hurts, damn, hurts. So the <coughs> excuse me, the mortar is kind of fun. Um, I'll be a little different than what I'm used to, but that's kind of the main. Thing. So three years I'll after it came Victor, out, I was a huge fan of the uh, the Lord or the Roomkeeper. Roomkeeper, take care. Lord, sorry, getting Roomkeeper was a lot of fun. <coughs> I don't usually play healers in games, but the Roomkeeper was a pretty cool healing class with a lot of offensive capability. Got it. Ooh, shiny armor. No, not a, not a shiny armor. The cold is cutting through to my bones, and it is nothing compared to the 
chill of anticipating the demon that sucked the warmth out of this place. two for a while that game was kind of a mixed bag for me i was really excited when it came out and or when it was coming out because i was a big fan of guild wars one which is kind of a quasi mmo um and then uh, yeah guild wars 2 came out and they did a lot of things really really really, really right but then there were some things they did that i just I couldn't get behind at all which is a little disappointing because i really I just loved the direction they were going. but i played through the original campaign and then through uh campaign I can't remember what it was. and I did buy the next one it has something to do with fire but I never finished it unfortunately although I will say that game still has some of the best mount um, animations even if you just go on YouTube and check out like like the release of mounts in that game the animations for mounts in Guild Wars 2 hands down some of the best in the genre. like without comparison it's they're just they do a really good job on it but we also didn't get mounts until the second expansion, so there's that. This is so bad. Right. But the shiny book. Oh no, it's a card. Never mind. Oh, no. oh hey, what's this? Apocalypse, the demon wraith, used to be held prisoner in this forsaken place, slowly draining all of its energies away to sustain its ever burning wrath. But it seems its master has already unleashed the hungering monstrosity. Apocalypse flew towards the castle. I fear that it is moving in for an attack against the survivors. Make haste to Castle Zagore, Hunter. Save my legacy. Save Zagaravia. Zagaravia. Return to the hub. Let's level first. All right, let's pull the game audio back down. Pull our browser audio back up. Okay. Oh, more DP. Nice. Oh, no. Another slot. Man, helps me read. All right. So, do max health. I crit. Five second cooldown. Oh, we got death. Ooh, some are so nice health. Actually, I've got that gift box because I really want to uh, try transmog one of those or transmute it. I'm sorry. What am I doing? We're going to return to the hub. Going to the hub. Right, the hub. I bet you we got pets are still alive. Good. At least there will be someone. Not a pleasant thought. Okay, let's go into this. Oh, I thought I picked a third. Did I not? Okay. Okay. Can we just apply two? No, we can't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can wait. I need to sell things first. Alright, let's go check out the balcony since we're here. Oh, hey, what is it? Is it true, Hunter? If those powerful demons that could destroy Castle Zagore on a whim exist, why have they not done so already? I think whoever commands them is toying with us, Your Majesty. Perhaps he hopes to lure more hunters to Zagaravia. Oh, I was expecting more. Okay, here we go. Assuming this is... Yeah, I don't think it's 
Generation, new generation, browser audio up. Oh gosh. Oh, that's a, a straight up leave. Okay, cool. Eat it. Oh, he moved as I was doing the charge shot. Oh, hello. Oh man, that cleave is rough. Shot. Oh, that cleave though. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta dodge some stuff here for a second. I like that we're fighting like war and famine and all that. I mean, I don't like it because I'm getting crap kicked in, but it's gonna be. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think these guys keep respawning. So many things trying to kill us. Oh shoot, I don't know what to do. Oh shoot. Man, this is uh this is a little more intense, you know what I'm saying? Stay in that fire, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, we gotta we gotta figure this out here. So we get over this. That hit him with this. There it is. We did it. Good job team. Go team. Thank you for the moral support. Ooh, what did we pick up? Alright. Alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, Tesla gun. It's not technically a Tesla gun, I guess, but it's cool. All right, let's talk to this dude. What's he saying? Okay, let's pull this down, pull this up. Thanks to your efforts, Agaravia may yet survive, Hunter. As promised, I will reveal to you the entrance to the Well of Worlds. It is hidden below my crypt in the Royal Gardens. The history of the Well is entwined with the history of Zagaravia and my own. My ambition was too great for this world, and I opened the Well of Worlds, a portal that connects our reality to countless others. When I realized my mistake, it was too late to go back. I had to do something to protect our world. I gathered the noblest souls of the realms. We swore to hunt corruption, and this new purpose made us a family. The Hunter's Order. Together, we founded Zagaravia as a fortress to stand guard over the secret of the Well of Worlds for the sake of humanity. My hunter brethren and I swore an oath to guard the Well and our world from all kinds of unnatural and otherworldly threats. The demons used the Well to invade Zagaravia. So I bear as much guilt as Katerina for the current events, if not more. 
You can redeem us both, Hunter. Go now. Descend into the Well of Worlds and travel to the Demon World. Find the dark pact that binds Katarina and destroy it. All right, then. Looks like we have our next task. There we go. Oh, what's this? Shame. Oh, God. Night. I do not want to replay that. I'm out. Let's keep going here. Oh, people talk to me. Everything is in place as expected, sir. <laughs> if you find some of the items uh, different, rest assured the new ones are, are, are better. And, and we all profit from it. Uh, let's check out my stash. I already owned the pumpkin mace? That's super awkward. Man, I got some weapons from before. I'm not going to use any of them because I really wanted to kind of build this out. But Praise God, you returned, my son. Truly, you are like Saint Borglas the Banisher. He who Borglas fought the unholy the legions Banisher. of the enemy to bargain for the soul of the maiden. Father, I'm as far from being a saint as anyone could be. Good job, Victor. Uh, pardon me for asking, but uh, whom did you talk to just after you dealt with Apocalypse? Wait, wait, don't answer that. No, take a deep breath. Relax. Why don't you have a look through my wares? You're a resourceful man, Victor. But you wouldn't last five minutes in the world of demons. Let me come with you. No. I've had enough people suffer the consequences of my decisions. I must do this alone. So let's, uh, ooh, new vampire. I like that. What's in here? Oh, that's what we want to do before we leave. We need to transmog. Or transmute, I should say, sorry. Some stuff. So if we put this as the base, what happens when we put, like, I can't have any other vampire types, do we? What's the alchemist do? Lowers the cooldowns up to two levels by 40%. That's pretty sweet. So let's just put, what's this do? Armor penetration, what's the new? I don't care about that. Okay, do we have a couple more? Hmm, I do have a couple Slayer cards. Let's do this, see what happens. That didn't work at all, super. All right, let's, let's. this work man uses the base do you have to put three in to transmute not a valid recipe i don't understand okay reach the well of worlds what are we doing for down? We got about five minutes. Can we get to that? We're gonna try to get to the Well of Worlds tonight before we log out here. Let's see what we can do. Go, go, go. All the way through the well. Well, 
I did something. Their team. Complete Slayer. Uh, complete Slayer. Same monsters within a bunch of seconds. Okay, let's circle around here and see what we got. It's not me, but some of us. A handsome young hunter named Vic was daring and fancy and slick. He traveled to hell through a magical well, and his head now resides on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Whoa. <laughs> Watch out. That one almost got you. Why are you doing this, Victor? Why would you risk your life for something that is not your cause? Oh, I see. You're looking for answers, for purpose. You believe that whatever lies in here would help you ease your guilt and self-disgust. Mortals are so amusing. Where do we go now? Well, indeed. Oh. If you ask nicely, I would make a path for you. Oh, the silent treatment. I like your brazen attitude. Voila! This is very Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. And now I present to you the well of that's it my good boy we are writing history you and i the moment you have been waiting for all your life strike strike harder Victor. Take your vengeance on the foul demons that cheated you and destroyed your life.
so proud, my boy. Go through the well into the demon world. Seal your fate. You spoke one word too many. Now I know who you are. I don't. Have I let my imagination drift into a demon world of my mind's devising? I have gazed upon mountains of fire and molten rock. I have listened to a choir of countless voices locked in eternal agony. As I pass through the gate, I find these washed away. What spreads before me is not a living hell, but a dying, if not already dead, world. Are the demonic contracts the last purpose of this ancient and incomprehensible world? I feel the gate brought me where I desired to be. As close to the Pact Holder as possible. I will say this was some pretty cool world building right here. Checkpoint. This is a checkpoint. Defeat Wally. I'm gonna have to call it after this one, guys. I just realized what time it was. Sorry. There he is, the keeper of the pacts.
not surrender Katarina's contract easily. Why have you come here, mortal? Why have you brought down this anger upon me? I have come for the Pact of Queen Katerina of Zagoravia, demon. The same pact that allows creatures from your world to invade ours. I have no quarrel with you, mortal. A pact is binding for both sides, and the price must be paid, one way or another. Then destroy the pact and end this. Alas, I no longer have the pact, mortal. It was bought back by the one who facilitated the deal. A powerful being, one of the very first vampires of your world. He came here not long ago and bought the contract for himself. In return, he promised his own immortal essence. While he holds the contract, the war between our worlds will rage on. Undoubtedly, he thinks himself very clever. He believes he cheated me, 
as he will have to die to submit his essence. And a creature like him plans to live forever, of course. You mean the contract is with Gabriel, the advisor of the Queen? And that he is one of the first vampires? That explains a lot. You gave me the last piece of the puzzle, demon. I shall return to my world and deliver you the soul of a vampire immortal. Yeah, all right. This is where I need to go. I know the name of our foe. He was careless to betray himself. Seal your fate. He is the whispering voice in our heads. The so-called healer who saved and doomed young Katerina. The old man who led a young prince astray. Seal your fate, my prince. He is the one who tricked us. The one who turned this city into a trap for hunters. He is a schemer, a puppeteer, getting under our skin and inside our heads, using us as agents for his plans. He is one of the first vampires, more ancient and dangerous than anything I've faced. Seal your fate. His name is Gabriel, and I will seal his fate. Well, guys, I think that seems like a pretty uh, good spot to finish off for the night. Thank you so much for joining me in the stream. Hopefully you're able to kick back and relax a little bit my guess is we might be able to finish this up next uh next wednesday night but we'll see where we're at i'm gonna start scouring for some new games uh for us to uh try out anyway guys thanks so much for joining me tonight and uh have a good